I just say teenagers nowadays are so hot. Not even teenagers, like 12 year olds. Let me tell you, when I was like 14, I was not looking like the 14 year olds today. Exhibit A. Mm-hmm. I definitely went through an awkward stage and it lasted quite a while. I feel like I just got out of my awkward stage. Since I firsthand know what it's like to go through that, I wanted to make this video on how to blow up. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, do that. If you're not subscribed to my second channel, do that. Let's just get into the video. So I would say the most important first step in a ultimate glow up is skincare and having a nice base before you even get to the makeup part. I'm talking skin, I'm talking eyebrows, I'm talking literal teeth, like anything people look at on your face that doesn't have to do with makeup that you can just do to your face to groom yourself, go out the door without makeup on and you still look glowed up. So first step in that is cleansing your face. Making sure you cleanse your face morning and night and using a cleanser that is good for your skin type and that's going to benefit your skin situation, whether it's dry or oily. Second step is moisturize. This is the biggest part of skincare for me. I never used to do this at all and it is so important because if you have oily skin, your face is just gonna get more oily if you don't moisturize it because it's gonna think that it needs moisture. The moisturizer that I have been using is so good. It is the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer and this is so good for a base before your makeup, which is what I'm gonna use it for, but if you wanna glow up as in just like no makeup, you don't need makeup, but you still want your skin to look glowed up, this is so good because it just like mattifies your skin. So good for just a bare skin day, kind of no makeup, no foundation, glowy skin kind of look. It's amazing. Also, it's like their newest product and you guys know I'm like a skin freak, so I was so excited to try. I always love trying new things. It's exclusively at Sephora, so I'll put the link in the description box down below if you guys wanna buy it. So basically, this is a pink water cream formula, so it hydrates and moisturizes and mattifies. It just helps so much with uneven skin tone, like I have some redness and like my pores are just huge, so it works so well to just waken up your skin from like being all dull and tired looking and just closes your pores right up, just closes them right up, so I'm just gonna put that all over my face. I like to do it like this because it's fun. <laughs> so that moisturizer works so well to minimize my pores. But another life hack for you guys, if you have a lot of issues with pores, I recommend using an ice cube to just kind of go over where you have pores. And the ice cube is just really cold and the coldness just works to close up your pores. Eyebrows. This was such a sad time in the year 2007. Young Sierra, lost in the world, bullied for having Pushy eyebrows, started from the bottom, now we're here. Step two for an ultimate glow up, makeup. But in all seriousness, I don't want you guys to think this is like a shallow video. You do not need makeup or you do not need to look a certain way to glow up or feel hot or look pretty. You guys are pretty as you are. You guys don't need any of that to be considered hot or good looking. Confidence and your personality and how you treat people and how you act and how you portray yourself. Those are the important things. Just putting that out there. There are so many YouTube videos now on makeup and makeup tutorials that you can look up. It is so helpful. I wanna show you guys my makeup routine step by step. And I always say with makeup, the more simpler, the better. The first step is priming my skin. This is something I never did in high school. I didn't even know it existed when I was in high school or middle school. I didn't know this was a thing. I just like to put this all over my skin for a nice base for foundation. Again, another kind of thing for it to stick on. So next I'm going in with foundation. I'm using this stick one. Me personally, I recommend the sponge. I think it makes your skin look the best and natural and it just blends really easily and really well. Biggest tip is to blend, blend, blend. I used to never conceal under my eyes. Like, I didn't know it was a thing. When I was in high school, I thought concealer was like for blemishes only. I always had eye circles. And again, blending, blending, blending. Then I just go in with a little bit of translucent, 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 translucent powder. Wow. Set everything just with a brush. Eyebrows. Fill in the brows. Definitely went to town. My eyebrows started in the middle of my eye. Like it literally started right here. 
and they were so thin. But I was just bullied so much, like I was sick of it. I just went to town with the tweezers. Brush them out, take my eyebrow pencil, and then I just kind of start at the bottom. Bronzing is my favorite part, <laughs> and it's also something I never used to do. And I just contour in. I need some blush. I like to do like right on the apples of the cheeks because it gives you a youthful look, apparently. The highlight, most important part, cheekbones. And then I put on this side, on Cupid's bow, nose. Ooh, and then for eyeshadow, sometimes I'll do eyeshadow, but most of the time I'll just do bronzer because it's the perfect brown. And then lastly, we have the lashes. I have extensions. Mascara works just fine. You just find one that you really like that's really volumizing, lengthening. I just put them on the bottom lashes. I don't really know if this is a life hack, but I just take a Q-tip and like get all the foundation off my lips because I cannot stand when there's foundation under my lipstick and I get so much on my mouth. To finish off my everyday makeup, I just go in with my favorite tinted lip balm because I'm so lazy and I don't want to use lipstick because this is just so easy to reapply. Pretty much it for my makeup routine. Step three for the ultimate glow up is hair. <laughs> my hair was actually not bad when I was in middle school. The number one mistake I made was just taking too much time on it. I literally would wake up at like 5.30 every morning just to straighten my hair. I didn't know how to blow dry my hair straight. I would just let it air dry the night before and then it would be like crazy in the morning and then I would just like have to take an hour to straighten it. Blow dry your hair straight as soon as you get out of the shower and that is what I do. Dry it a little bit with a towel and then I take my blow dryer and just like a round brush and then I just like blow dry it straight. It just saves so much heat damage so you're not like doing so many things with heat on your hair. Second tip I have is dry shampoo and this is something that I don't even think existed when I was in high school. Like I feel like this, I feel like dry shampoo is a pretty new thing. I only wash my hair once a week, sometimes twice, but once a week is enough. You can train your hair, life hack, to not be greasy by washing it less gradually and gradually and just using dry shampoo. You can literally wash your hair like once a month. Well, like not saying I wanna do that, but it's possible and it's better for your hair because you don't dry it out. And the last step, step number four for the ultimate glow up has everything to do with confidence. One of the most important things in my pre glow up stage was how little confidence I had and how insecure I was, how shy I was and didn't talk to anyone. Like that to me is the ultimate glow up to me now because even though I still am a shy person, I will talk to people, I'm more outgoing, I can have a conversation, I'm not awkward as much anymore. I mean like if there's nothing wrong with being shy and awkward, but I think that is the most important part in a glow up and it takes time. It's not just gonna happen overnight like some of these more superficial things. It is the most rewarding part of a glow up. In high school, I literally was scared to talk to anyone. I just needed to understand that that's not the most important thing in the world and that I would go on to do amazing things and that nobody even matters in high school anymore and like it's all irrelevant and you will go on to follow your dreams and do amazing things and none of that matters in the end. Realizing that in high school will help you so much because it'll help you not worry so much about what people think and not distract you from doing amazing things in high school. Why waste time, you know? Anyway, I could go on about this, but I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you want like any other types of video like this, then make sure to thumbs this video up. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Like this.